I had so many memories in my past that I can't remember. Yes. So many memories are lost for life because yeah. of my accident. But yeah. a few come out, a few pop in here and there. Yeah. And that one in particular, you know, it was really shocking. I, I, I remember the forget that day. Um, he, I was in his solo with my dad and he was, he like, next to our house was a church. My dad's house that, that was a church. And then I had given my life to Christ. I became a Christian. We're all Muslims now. So yeah. I was like the bad egg. Exactly. So everyone was having dinner, mm -hmm. you know, and usually it was Sunday night. Usually Sunday night we go back to my own house. So that was my second mom's yeah, house. Yeah, exactly. you know, my second mom's house. Yes. And Sunday night we was supposed to go back to Ipako. So daddy was ready to go. Where's <laughs> Mariah? Where's Mariah? So, you know, I think she's in the church. Church he gets. <laughs> eh? He was shocked. I just saw, I just knew I was there. I didn't even realize that. I just started hearing him. And he has a, a bit of a limp. He's going, she lies my daughter. Yeah. And he just crawled on there. My father has come and ran the way and rushed into the car. Between the between the solo and my dada, oh god, I got the preaching of my life. Do you know how many years you've been telling Jesus Christ is coming? Do you know how many years <laughs> Jesus Christ will be coming? He has not come! He's not coming! <laughs> you know, so it took a long time, but it was, it was an interesting um, time at the period. Thank mm -hmm. God that. He even became a Christian before he died. Eventually. Oh, wow, that's interesting. I mean, your mom being a big businesswoman yeah. in Lagos. So, um, you emphasize on the point where you didn't really have them around, like, sort of, you were sort of like leaning towards the additional cause. Where, oh, yes. Where you? Yeah, so growing up, um, so, yeah, my, my neighbors, they're, okay. they're Mr. and Mrs. Adishoko, and they have three amazing young boys. They're like my brothers. Jiri Tunde and Tayo and they were like my life because they were the only siblings I knew at the time, you know. My my other my, my, my other sister and brother were in the solo. So I see them only on weekends, you know, but every single day these were the people that I, I saw after school. After school I'm in their house, I have dinner in their house sometimes. Uh, sometimes we go out to a great club for weekends. I follow their mom to go and visit friends. It was there I learned family structure. It was there I knew mommy, daddy, children. It was there I saw how you can organize a home. Mm. Auntie comes back home in the evening. She, she, I mean, weekends, she would, um, fry, she would cook her stew, stew to be very, very dry. Mm. And she now bag it. You know, little, little details like a child sees. Mm. And you realize, okay, these are little things you pick up on the way. So I learned a good, a good part of the values and stuff I learned came from Mrs. Adisha Kong. So she was a really good part of me. It wasn't as if my mother wasn't there. My mother too was very good, but she was a businesswoman. Yeah. She was constantly in Lagos trying to make ends meet because from exactly. the family, things always happen where you have to face your children. So she was at the point where she was just happy to raise her kids and get as much money as possible. So I came about 12 years after my, my, my the oldest brother. So I came at the time where she was hustling. She wasn't trying to stay in her hair. So did you get it come? I was just um so it was pretty much usually when she when she goes off, I'm always in the other children's house. And that's okay. the day when the one that really helped me to Get a lot of values and understand there's a family different than polygamy family. There's polygamous family, what I was used to. Mm -hmm. I was able to see a proper family structure, which is different, and that's what made you desire that wherever I marry you, I was not come from anything polygamous. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, but notwithstanding, you emphasize in this very good book your relationship with your mom, which is something very, very important that the uh, audience is to know. Your yeah. mom and you share the same birthday. Like, yes. How how does that happen? I'm sure you don't have friends that have that. <laughs> it's very, I mean, it was, it's, a, it's a bizarre story, and I always shared all my life. So, my mother, as I said, she gave birth to me 12 years after her last child. So, she actually okay. finished was done. And um, the circumstance of how I got conceived is in the book. You find out that, you find that out when you, when you write the book. But uh, what was interesting was that she was pregnant, she was due in July. And, you know, she was supposed she to have a CS. I mean, at the time, she had not, never had a CS before. And doctor, the same doctor that gave birth to me was when I gave birth to my own first child. Wow. Doctor, oh, I just lost the doctor. Ah, I can't remember, I can't remember what his name. But he uh, was... You should get it in the, in the book. I don't think I can mention it. But, <laughs> but yeah, so he delivered me and then he, he tried to... So he saw that my her birth was on July 6th. Mm. So I think while she was in labor, maybe he made sure she pushed it to the next day. July. So I don't know what happened, but... She just woke up and they told her happy birthday and they gave her me. And it's, well, it's and a natural, then, it's a natural phenomenon. Yes. So for, for him to be that precise, yes. even if it's with his intentions, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he would, he would. And so she dressed me up, she dolled me up in fact. Wow. I didn't know much about it, but people told me straight, I'm right, you ain't this spoiled little girl. Like, yeah. She dressed like Cinderella, she buys me the best clothes, the shoes, and the hat, the ribbons, everything was complete. I had gold that my mother dolled me up. I mean, I was that I was that girl, she just had to just fall silly. She mm. did, I know she did. <laughs>